So, <clears throat> my work. Hey, get him. <whistles> love your little face. I love your little face. Hold on. This is my little buddy. Hi, kiddo. Hi, kiddo. I love you. All right. I'll go away. Anyway, um, so I'm at work today, and I'm wearing Zaharoff Signature Royale. <sighs> Some good stuff. I went through, well, I didn't go through, I decanted some of this out to a friend of mine. Because um, I, I, he really liked it. I've, wore, I've worn it to work, I've worn it out, I've worn it, you know, around. I, I've worn this. I've had this for probably about a week. I'm an oversprayer, and honestly, I'm wearing it again tonight. I'm stuck on it. Okay. Nah, I hate odd numbers. Here you go, one in the chest. <clears throat> I, I like this fragrance a lot. A lot, a lot. What I like about George's fragrances is there's like a, a stopping point and a starting point. Meaning like, like you can tell where there was signature, signature noir. So signature is sort of like the daytime. Noir is a little bit more nighttime. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be the same with this and Royal X. Um, I did pick up Royal X. I also did pick up Noir. Um, went through decants of um, this. I got about halfway through. Gave it to a friend after I topped it off for him. And for um, <laughs> Noir, I still have the decant, but I just decided to go ahead with the full bottle. You know, um, But there's... A, a point in which this it begins there's the fragrance and then there's an end and then it picks up um and it tells more of a story i guess but there's some some very similar notes in a lot of the zahara fragrances and that australian sandalwood is what sticks out to me um you so off the top There's a brightness, there's a spiciness. I believe there's some incense in here or some kind of uh, like frankincense, myrrh. Um, I know there's some oud in here. Oud is not this animalic oud. None of the Zaharoff ouds are like that. Uh, but you hear oud, you think, ooh, skanky, nasty, which I like those too. But this is classy. This is more of a refined, and I, I want to say that the oud is more of a supporting role. Um, you get a brightness. I don't quite remember if there's any citrus in here, but you get a brightness off the top. And like there's like this really soft, creamy sandalwood. It's almost like a... I don't know. Um, hold on. <laughs> but the sandalwood is there. You get the, the spiciness of the oud wood. You get the sandalwood. Um... I believe, if I'm not mistaken, let me see if I can pick it up. Hold on. That one, I got some alcohol on it. There's an earthiness in here, so I want to say there's some kind of, some sort of patchouli. And probably, I think that brightness is coming from some sort of citruses or like a fruit or something. Um, as a matter of fact, hold on for one second. Yes, there are citruses in here. On fragrance, like it says citrus blend or citrus. Um, and on the cards here, it says, um, Citrus blend and apple, which is not a citrus. Um, 
Let me see if there's some incense in here or something. Oh, that spiciness is just coming from the oud then. Um, I don't know if that's the cashmere that I did not pick up on. Or whatever's creating that suede accord that's making it the creaminess. Or is that the sandalwood? But sandalwood can come across very creamy. Um, either way, wonderful. Wonderful fragrance. Like, it's not going to top Noir. Noir is still my all-time favorite. All-time favorite fragrance, too. Um, but it's close. It's this, Rosé and Noir, all tied together. I think, um, if you have a chance to go out and get this, this is 145 If you have a chance to go out and get this, I'd say get it. I'd say get it. I, I'm, I'm excited to see what Royal X does. I haven't picked, or haven't, owned it yet but i mean i guess technically now since i paid for it i owned it i own it but it's in chicago it's in the warehouse i can't spray it on right now because i don't have it but hey, what's up little man how you doing little homie all right anyway so amazing fragrance love it as you can see besides the probably five mils i decanted Maybe closer to seven or eight. This has been what I've been wearing for the last few days. This is what I'm wearing for the night. You cannot go wrong, I don't think. As y'all saw from my other video, there are hits and misses with this house for me. Like, but nothing has ever been a complete miss. Meaning, like, am I gonna wear this over Evening Mystique? Maybe. Depends. This is probably more for the daytime than it would be than Evening Mystique would be. Um, am I going to wear this over of the Immortals? No. Uh, I might wear this over Second Soul. I'm not going to wear this over you know Rosé or, or Signature. I will wear this before Noir. And I don't know about Royal X. Never put my nose to it until now. I'm hearing things, and I really, really like what I'm hearing, and here I am. I'm here, and I'm going to get this one, and I will be getting to Bach on release day. That comes out in, I think, February 1st, and I will be ordering it February 1st, later. <laughs>